Hello viewers, I welcome you all to HNT of Tech channel and today we will talk about the management data service in SharePoint 2019 on premise environment. Uh, management data service in SharePoint server is used to create a unified taxonomy of terms uh, that you can use uh, throughout your SharePoint farm or uh, your websites that are created on SharePoint uh, and uh, Manage metadata service is uh, implemented through a uh, uh, service application as you all know that in the SharePoint application server we can create different share, uh, types of service applications uh, that are search service or visiographic service uh, these both services we created in our previous videos and uh, today we are going to configure one more service that is manage metadata service uh, similarly, we can also create the user profile service in uh, my next video. I'm going to uh, I'm planning to configure it for your easy uh, understanding so uh, This service is configured on our uh, application server. So let's see how it uh, is configured We will click on application management and here we can see that there is a option in service applications that is manage service applications uh, this application discovery and uh, load balancer services created by default whenever a new application service created uh, this service is uh, related to our search service which we configured for uh, facilitating our users with the search facility we have already worked on it in our previous videos visio graphic service was created to enable uh, visio uh, files to be open on web uh, which are uh, saved by various users in the document libraries two applications that are security token and usage applications are created by default so now uh, we will click on new and uh, for creating a new manage metadata service we will click on manage metadata service we will name it as MMS service as a short form uh, server will be DB and MM service DB will be the database name server and uh, Okay, uh, I told you earlier in my videos when we were configuring uh, some services uh, in SharePoint That whenever you create a new service a new application pool is created Okay uh, you, it is recommended that you always, uh, always create a new pool for new service uh, rather using the existing pool as the existing pool has its own security credentials and uh, it's working on its own protocols so it's never recommended that you uh, configure two different server, separate type of services that have different nature of work in a similar application pool to enter the content type hub that is my central website HLTF tech company we can double verify the URL to the home page this is my company name I will just copy it and paste it here till the port I will click OK it will take some time and after that a new manage metadata services will be created with additional database servers sorry databases uh, you are seeing that manage metadata services has been configured and created successfully and it's it uh, it's in it uh, started state if we will click on this service to see the details let's see what it's offering us so here you can see that it's offering us the taxonomy term store you can uh, import a sample store similarly you can call a language pack if you are working on some other language other than English and uh, this is our department term set name department honor contact uh, you can uh, now it's up to you how you can configure the taxonomy term store uh, for your uh, specific organization because it vary uh, from uh, organization to organization that uh, what type of taxonomies you are using 
uh, in our next videos we will go to see how we can configure and create a user profile service so up till now uh, this was all about the video i thank you all for watching this video